The booth was uh, a brainchild of Narissa Armstrong, who's my partner in crime, in, in helping me facilitate and initiate the home visit program that we started here. And she had an idea that would hopefully advertise the fact that we want to help families have tutoring that can impact their child's um, academic success and just to get to know them because for many EL families the school building seems to be very intimidating and so by bridging that gap from the school to the home uh, we were able to then put together a, a booth uh, that says can we come over and it's just a kind of an invitation question just we're not going to barge in, kick in the door, or anything punitive like that. It was just, you know, can we come over? And, and there were quite a few, uh, not just EL parents, but other parents who saw the need that perhaps free tutoring and possibly other community service uh, action might be, might be helpful for their family. So, How I started was during parent-teacher conferences last semester, and I had a poster up near my door as parents would come in I would schedule all of my my students families and they would come in they would see the poster and, and then they would inquire as we're talking about their child's um, success in class what is that you know Mr. Perez what is you know this calendar and, and why are you offering the service and it's a very sit down in the living room or in the kitchen table and just have this conversation and I believe that conversation then starts the storyline between myself as the educator and this particular family for like for sixth graders for the next three years possibly so that's exciting the initial impact is the social impact within my classroom what I have found in the past and I found here at Meridian Middle School is that students who seem to be a behavior issue um, right out of the gate right at the beginning of school when I after I go to their home they seem to settle down because suddenly they know, oh my gosh, Mr. Perez knows where I live. He's sat with my parents. He's not afraid to call them in any language. Later on, I see also their motivation to learn spikes. My opinion is that it does keep that spark of curiosity and that inspiration and motivation for the kid to say, wow, well, if you took the time to come to my house, I'm gonna take the time to do your work. I guess in a, in a nutshell, that's the simplest way I can say it. This particular school has a great core group of instructors that I could tap into, and I already have, and there's been at least a dozen educators who have uh, voiced to me their interest to participate in in minimal or maximum level it's not right to ask you it's right to challenge you so yes it's way going above and beyond but in my take is that it makes my job doable easier and meaningful for uh, for this these students that I have <laughs>